flipping it over to Andy Alcock, who has been talking to victims who were leaving the rally. Andy. Yeah, that's right, Brian. And we've been able to identify tonight the lady who died in this shooting. Her name is Lisa Lopez Galvin. And what we can tell you is the parish priest at St. Agnes Catholic Church confirmed that information tonight at a full mass in Roland Park on this Ash Wednesday. Here's a little bit of what we know about Lisa. She's 43 years old, the mother of two children. In addition to being a member of St. Agnes, she was also a graduate of Bishop Meage High School, which is close to the church. She was also the co-host of a program on community radio station KKFI called A Taste of Tejano, which plays Latino music. Her last Facebook post was just yesterday, inviting her friends to listen to the program last night, Tuesday night. It says, quote, don't forget to tune in to A Taste of Tejano from 8 to 10 p.m. Let us know if you have a birthday, anniversary, or special announcement. Melissa Clardy and her 16-year-old daughter Elizabeth from Independence were close to the shooting scene and escaped unharmed, but were badly shaken by it. We spoke to them after they returned to the shuttle drop-off this afternoon at the zoo. I'm absolutely terrified right now, and honestly, I don't think I could handle going back to another parade for this. It's not worth my daughter's life. Now, the priest at St. Agnes also tonight during that Ash Wednesday service said there was a second parish family also involved in the shooting. He did say the mother and two young children who he did not identify were doing well. Reporting live, overlooking Union Station, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News.